What do you think? Oh, Mage, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because! Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend. Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Hello? Oh, gross. I see you. That's my gun. It's mine now. Give it back. Why should I? Get out here. You got anything on you? You don't have to do this. It's mean. You've got to be mean to keep going out here. I'm not mean. Yeah? And who got your gun? I'm serious. What else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me. I'll pop you. Just walk away. Whatever. Give me that hat. No! Where'd you get it? None of your business. Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. I didn't mean 
to. I didn't mean that. Krista, talk to me. <sighs> this will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's okay. I can wait. All we do is wait. And for what? You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... We can't build a big fire at night. It attracts too much attention. It's too dangerous when we're out here by ourselves. We need to eat, don't we? We can't survive without food. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold. Or so they say. We just need to keep moving north. Hi, Miss Lee. I'm sure you do. <sighs> I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Still not enough. The flames are too low. This might burn.
fucking lie to us. Who do you think you're fooling here? Give us the truth and you don't get hurt. You fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? I, I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! Krista, are you there? Okay, boy. It's okay. <coughs> Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. <coughs> What's 
is he doing? <coughs> Sam! Sam! Where are you going? Wait up! Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. <sighs> Empty. Better keep looking, huh, Sam? <coughs> What's the matter, Sam? have to be quiet. It's okay. He's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. But that never works. Ever. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. You're smarter than all of them. Hey, it's okay, boy. Shh. He can't hurt us. Think he had himself tied up? Or did someone force him to do this? Stand back, okay? Stay out of their reach. <sighs> Still pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't go another night without food, okay? <sighs> well, here we go. Oh my god, thank you. Look, Sam, I can. Let's see what's inside. Please don't be bad. I guess you are pretty hungry, too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all! Ha <laughs> ha 
I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Come on, kid. We gotta get her. I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you alright? I'm fine. Just let me be. Oh, was that so? The last time I saw you, you could barely crawl away from that lurker back there. Look, you're in bad shape, kid. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well. I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. No, it really was a dog. Please, believe me. I want to, kid, but I gotta believe my own two eyes first, and I didn't see no dog around. No, it was from before. Hmm, all right. Let's see it. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? Uh, is it like she says? Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? Of course I am. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. I'm just tired. Well, you better be fine. Because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit! She was bitten by a dog. I need a dog. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I just need a doctor. And then, and then I'll go. 
I don't want my arm to get infected. None of us want to get infected. That's the point. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead, he's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm, whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. You are right. You want to be sure about this before you do something you might regret. I'm on your side, kid. No need for a guilt trip. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding, and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? I can take care of myself. Clearly. Look, I may be in the minority here, but my gut tells me she's telling the truth. It probably is just a dog bite. Probably. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. Alvin, please. But, yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer for who? <sighs> I can't believe this. <sighs> You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. <sighs> Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. We have a 
doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. What the hell are you doing? I'm not gonna hurt anyone. Yeah, but you're gonna get me in trouble. Please, I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. Will you just let me die? I wouldn't let you do nothing. It's not my call. We're a group. But you could help. And if you don't, isn't that the same? I don't know, all right? I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. Please help. Please. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just... tired. You're not with Carver. No. And you didn't get bit by a dead person. No. I'll do anything I can to help your situation. Anything. Except leave me alone. Yeah, I guess. I'm screwed if anyone finds out I did this. You understand? Yes. What do you need? The bu the cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look. I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with. And a needle and thread could help, too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get, I'll find the rest on my own. Okay, wait here. I found you some bandages. And I, uh, I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty. Thank you. Alvin, house meeting in five minutes. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you need to go. Could be, we don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend and they got attacked. Yeah. Help me. I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me, and I won't tell him. I... 
I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it with. And I need a needle with thread to sew it up. Do you know where those things are? My dad has some stuff for cleaning with the supplies. Kinda burns. I don't know if he has stuff for sewing, though. Really? Seems like he would. We don't have much. He's still trying to restock since we moved. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. Yes, we are friends. Promise? I promise. Me too. Friends. A pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. I guess that's all I need. I better get out of here. That man from time. Have this baby. <laughs> let it be okay and let it be his. This is gonna suck. And now, just like last time, just how Krista showed me. Ah! Ah! 
How did he get in here? Are you happy? I could have died, you know. Well, you didn't. I just needed some help. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How's she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. I wish you wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs! Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. 
But one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. What? Nothing. I just had a friend who lost his arm once. That's all. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You can let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What? happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. Don't talk to me like that. For what? 
You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I just needed some help. Well, you got it. Now go. I won't stay long. Good, because I don't trust you. And stay the hell away from my husband. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. She's mean. I don't like her. She did come on a little strong. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway. So I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me, and of course the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Cause you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. Your carver, what do you do? Who's carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. This one's shot, too. Through the head? Yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. What was it, then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You want to be useful? 
Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there. Don't get jumpy on me now. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. You shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. with Krista, the woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. Just... just lost my footing! Damn it. God damn it! Lurkers! I'm out of ammo! Come this way! Bitch! Damn it! You get your asses over here, both I'll of you! I'll cover you! Come on! Come on! Jesus! We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. is for the living in the water oh you feel that you should run but where are you too high in the water oh against the tide we struggle with the skin wearing Skin wearing against the time we struggle to keep our heads above the deep. Now 
hearts above the line, above the line. We vow your life and blood. This is not our home in water. Oh, yeah, I hope he is never found. Just try and keep your way in water. Oh, and against the time we struggle, the skin wearing, skin wearing. Against the time we struggle to keep our heads above the deep, and our hearts above the light. The light. And who we are today can never make amends for what we've done. Tainted blood. In his eyes, his eyes are full of love. Forgive them. Release them. Against the tide, we struggle. The skin we're in, the skin we're in. Against the tide, we struggle to keep our heads above the deep, and our hearts above the line, above the line.